Hey, we've got some exciting stuff going on with the van. So it's not going to be beige for much longer. Don't get me wrong, I do like the beige. But it's not quite as nice as it used to look when it was in the dark grey sort of slash black primer. So today's mission is to figure out what's causing the little leak down there, a little coolant leak. Take off all these stickers, one on the bonnet, one on each door. Give her a clean because she's absolutely filthy at the moment. The joys of screamer pipe coming out of the bonnet on a beige motor. And more importantly, we've got to have a look underneath here at why that's leaking. So that's my AN6 feed line from the fuel cell in the back. So, got my tools ready to rock and roll. I haven't got my AN spanners, so adjustables will have to do on this occasion. So I'm going to take that apart, drain out whatever's in there into the jerry can, and hopefully get it fixed. We shall see. So that's the plan for this episode. I'm going to uh, get cracking on that. It's actually quite warm out today, so I'm probably going to take the jumper off. And then we're going to dive into what's going on with that thing. Get her ready for Saturday when she goes off for a 2023 transformation. Uh, hopefully, if I can get that fuel leak sorted, I might take you out for a bit of a joyride in it today. But we shall see. Weather's nice. Hopefully, I can get the fuel line fixed. Yeah. I don't really know what's going on with this. There's nothing untoward when you look at it. There don't seem to be any splits in the PTFE Teflon lining, and there's nothing really wrong with that end. So I don't know, I might just try and do it up again and see if that seals it. Let's give that a go, see what happens. All right, so starting the van was a bit of a fail. The battery's completely dead. But thankfully, guys at Top Don have sent me this little uh, battery jump starter. So let's have a look at this. So this is the JS2000 jump starter pack. Neat little gadget, this thing. Well, I've already used it on the wife's car. And that's a diesel and it managed to start that up, no problem at all. So get that bit, you plug your Plug your end in up there, you can charge it from either one of these I think. So you plug that bit in. Jobs are good in. Link those up to your battery. It's got a little boost button on the side of there. So if it needs that little bit of an extra kick to get her started, flick that and away you go. So, without further ado, let's uh, chuck this on the van and hopefully this will get us started. What a beast. Worked a treat that did, even on 50%. Can't argue with that, can you? Um, I'll put a link to these in the description below put an affiliate link so if you want to go and get yourself one highly recommend it and if you do order one through the link we get a little commission out of uh, out of you doing so which will certainly help the channel so let's give you a little insight into what i need need to deal with when i'm sitting inside this van So this is my soundtrack when I'm inside the van. Got two fuel pumps down there. Which makes it really bloody hard trying to film anything in this thing. So anyway, let's go and see if the fuel pipe's leaking still.
Right, so that's our AN line all detached from the underside of the van and sort of repositioned. So I need to pull that olive off, pull the nut off, cut this back a little bit, and then I'll probably just use a new fitting to be honest, a new fitting entirely. And hopefully that will remedy our little situation we've got going on. So let's have a go at that, see where we end up. So this is inside an AN fitting. Take this nut off, and you've got a little olive that sits in the middle. So that little shaft goes up inside. That bit goes round the uh, like plastic Teflon sheathing, and then that nut crimps it all together. So we've just got to try and get all this on this on this hose now. So now once that's on there need to spread back all the braid so none of it gets in between your Teflon bit and your olive because otherwise you'll end up having a leak so I'll try and splay that out now so you want to have the tapered part aiming in towards your pipe so put that in and then it's got a little flat edge on the inside you probably can't really see that from there little flat edge just inside there you want your Teflon to sit flat with that good so now you can see hopefully that that is all the way home so now what I do is put a little bit of WD-40 on the end of that just so it slides in a little bit easier that's fully in. Now, much of that you're going to see. And that's it done. All nice and fitted on there. Try and actually shine a light so you can see what the hell it is I'm talking about. So, that's all fitted. I'm going to pop this back on here and then re-secure the whole line and that's it done. I'll probably wrap a bit of tape around here just so it's not exposed braid. So I'll get a bit of tape, tape that up first. So I've already just done the coolant pipe, so it's just the fitting that went onto the rad down here. It was just literally loose, so I've done the Jubilee up and now it's all good to rock and roll. So, I think the next step is probably getting the heat gun out and trying to peel these off. One, hopefully not burn my paint, and two, not peel off any paint with the sticker, so we'll see how that goes. Let's go and get the uh, and get the heat gun. Well, fortunately, we didn't get away with it on this side. Pulled the paint off here, a little bit here. And a little strip there, a couple of little bits there. Uh, it's not too shabby though, is it? Never mind. Oh, it looks so naked without the stickers. But it's all for good reason. It's going to look so good when it's all done. So, just taking off the little sort of stone chip sticker guard things that I had on here this side went all right but unfortunately this side not so all right managed to pull off a 
big chunk of paint so I'm gonna have to wet sand that back to lose that edge but such is life I guess that's the perks of having stickers on your motor and it potentially pull your paint off don't all right so new day new plan of action my mate Nathan he has offered to let me use his workshop to try and sand down some of these areas that I peeled the paint off on so we're gonna go down there we're gonna sand the edges off of this off that off that and the worst one is that so we need to sand all the hard edges off of that and we've also got a few like bubbly spots in the paint so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that really so all along there various like little bubbly spots so that is the plan for today get it back home later give it a wash and then it's ready to go off for its 2023 trans transformation so I'm gonna rig you up in the van somewhere probably won't do any pulls today because it was raining pretty much all last night so the road conditions are a bit pants but rig you up give you a little ride along and you can hear how terrible them pumps are if anyone's got an idea of what I can do to encase the fuel pumps in the back of this thing or quieten down somehow some way drop a comment in, in the comments below because they drive me nuts especially on a two or three hour drive to a car show it's ridiculous can't hear nothing so I probably won't introduce you to Nath or anything like that because I'm still new to all this and I still feel like a bit of a plonker when I'm trying to talk to a camera in front of people so I'll probably just rig you up on on the stand when I get going with sanding this down and go from there so let's get cracking get down there well GoPro fell off so we're at the fuel station topped off with a shell V power ready to get back on the road let's go Here we are, the mate's place, car care. So if you're around the East Sussex area, around Ringmer, Lewis, Brighton, these are the guys to give a call for any sort of body repairs. So I'll, I'll link their website and number in the description below. So give them a shout if you need any repairs done. All right, let's get the van in there.
we're back. So, roads had dried up a little bit on the way home, so I managed to lean on it a little bit. Not fully lean on it, because something's not quite right. I think my TPS might have crapped itself, so weren't quite running as it should do. But, we are all sanded down where we need to be. So, loads of high spots I've had to sand out of this. We did have a massive problem when painting this van because all the I had the primer on it for about two years and it absorbed a load of moisture, so it took two months to dry it out. But obviously not fully dried out because a load of stuff had started coming back through. So I sanded that down, sanded all down here, high spots here and all that lot. Sanded down where I'd managed to peel off the paint the other day. So that's all sorted. Various spots down the sides, they're all now flat. And then on this side, the troublesome bit, again, sanded down along there, along there, along there. That's all nice and smooth. Various bits down the side, as you would have seen. So all I've got left to do now is wash the thing off, make it all nice and clean, ready for going off for a little makeover. So that'll wrap us up for this video. So don't forget, if you need a jump starter pack, get one of these little bad boys. Brilliant little bit of kit. And not massively expensive to be fair considering what some of them usually go for so yeah with that in mind i'll end it here and next time we shall be taking it off for a makeover so stay tuned and you'll see what she looks like very soon thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and i shall see you next time